engineer. I've been working in the LTC, which is an A-star research institute for the last three years. I've been doing applications using uh, ABB robots, KUKA robots, Planet robots, UR10 robots, KUKA UR robots. And all of them are dedicated for uh, polishing, uh, machine tending, and all related activities for the application, uh, industrial applications, basically. I want to present you today what I've done in uh, using Rolls Industrial and why I believe it is a game changer in the industry. So I wanna I wanna add on a little bit more of the definition for Rolls side. Uh, I wanna include you guys uh, what is a meta package, which is basically a massive package, including definitions uh, for Kuka robots. Uh, fun robots, ADD robots, uh, motorman robots, etc., etc. So the idea of this package is, is to enable users to take advantage of these uh, robots that are probably in your company doing nothing. You can go sit down, take probably 45 minutes to do a pseudo update, and you get the package you install it. You continue your development just by, by hard coding or remembering the points that you want to apply, for example, for polishing. You want to do a trajectory, you define, you move your robot, save the point, go to the other point, save it, and you got it. You go to a C++ and you perform a for loop, basically, that's what it, what it takes. You can create a trajectory repeatable that is good enough for you to develop any, any result that you customer want. So now, you don't know the language carrot, for example. You don't know any KIL. You don't know rapid code. And you know how to use a Linux computer. That's interesting, right? Only one language allows you to use all these kind of uh, programming languages. So personally, I'm not good at fun, but I managed to do some uh, development using, using my robot, which is my hardware. I'll show you later what I did. Uh, it's just a funny, funny debugging tool. It's also doing polishing, and uh, there you go. That's the, main, that's the main capability I wanted to show you. I know it's pretty straightforward, uh, but I want you to change your mentality. I don't, I don't want you to believe ROS is only for toys. ROS gives you the abilities and the tools to develop your career, <coughs> put it that way. So what is, what is really ROS, ROS, ROS I get it? You need to understand the overall concept and the capabilities that need to be defined to reach a certain maturity in the industrial level. Uh, we know all the development done in, uh, in the academia, for example, for the motion and path planning trajectory. We also understand the perception and the sensor fusion, that, that the work that it takes to do a sen sensor fusion, for example. All these abilities are just simply a click away from you, and you can just simply download the package put a couple sensors, one Kinect, and then there you go. You have a defined environment using RVs, and you can perform your uh, any application. So what is it really headed for? We need to define that, and you define that. The industrial environment defines that. Uh, so let's say you have a customer desiring and willing to perform uh, polishing again, and improving the capabilities of their components, let's say polishing iPad cases, iPhone cases. You have a solution now. You just have to adopt whatever you know in ROS, whatever you learn in the university, provide this solution to your boss, and then they will. You have a plus. Okay? So, uh, ARTC is, proud, is a proud part of the consortium, the global consortium, which is uh, America, I mean, uh, Europe, and Asia. And ARTC is part of the Asia side. We have SWRI in the US, and we have Frank Hofer in, in Europe, in Germany. All of them contribute uh, constantly, every day, providing packages for you to uh, basically play. Take your robot, see any problem uh, with the, any topic that you have in your code, and then you continue your development. So it's constant support from these uh, three research institutes. So you're not alone. You have people helping you, backing you up, etc. Uh, I wanted to highlight uh, on the next event, which is uh, a week ahead, 
We're going to have keynote speakers. So will be one of them. He will be sharing uh, uh, all his knowledge. You guys are invited to come across, ask questions, and get to see what are the opportunities that you can take from here. So as I mentioned before, uh, what is it capable of? Okay, we have uh, officially distributed, this is the software that is uh, backed up by the research institutes. Uh, we have ABB, FANU, <coughs> Motorman, Universal Robots. What you can do is basically what Juan was doing with his robot. Just take the topic, the sensor, uh, MSDF, the messages, and instead of reading the CMD velocity, just read the joint trajectory, the joint uh, states. Once you read the joint states, you can basically identify the position of your robot. And then you have a constant real-time feedback. Uh, I'm going to say real-time in this case, but it's, you can see how your robot is behaving at that particular moment. So you have a visual, uh, a visual feedback. You can identify your uh, TCP. You can define which trajectory you want to follow. You can use packages as the card if you, if you have a really complicated trajectory. You can use plugins included in RBs, Cartesian plugins, for example. My colleague will pre present <coughs> later. Uh, you have everything. You have all the tools here, and these kind of options outside are very expensive. Uh, OEMs will tell you you have to pay for this module, and then you can do this kind of uh, welding, for example. So now you have the opportunity here to take a robot, perform a toolpath, define a toolpath, generate it yourself and perform a result. That's what matters. Now you're saving money here as well. Furthermore, you have the capacity of including different sensors. So in the integration side, probably as you saw before, it was using lighter sensors. In our case, we can also include, for example, robotic grippers. We just have to download a single package and from the TCP communication, for example, with a sensor, and there you go, you're ready to go. Same case, for example, for the Intel RealSense. Intel has compromised to develop their own packages. They did it, they showed it in Roscon last year. They had a nice package for the, Ros, uh, for the RealSense. We have finding four cameras, we have depth, we have the 3D uh, tools, basically. Not only, and not only Intel, you have a lot of companies compromising to develop their own packages. For example, SIC. SIC is constantly helping you for 2D sensors and 3D lighter sensors. For safety, most importantly, you can also include safety sensors in these cases. Then you have uh, real-time tools for integrating communication as uh, EtherCAD, EtherCAD buses. You can just simply download the open source real uh, real time EtherCAD and then you integrate it into the package. Then, there you go, you have IOS. You can now communicate with the world, activate uh, actuators, activate valves, receive signals from different uh, type of environments, etc. And more importantly, uh, we also want to have cheap devices that can communicate with the world. So we have raw serial, right? We all learn in high school or university, how to use Arduinos or Raspberry Pis. So what is the best way to communicate from my heavy industrial robot to kind of cheap environments? We can use raw serial packages, same as what he did probably in his uh, development. Just one package, connect the USB, and you're reading topics from the Pi or from the, uh, from the Arduino as well. So I want to show you one project we developed in the company. This one is dry ice blasting. It's basically for cleaning uh, heavy components in the aerospace industry. And I'm going to show you now. So again, just had Ubuntu. From all the world's launch thing. Try to go ahead. Uh, the environment was uh, developed by, by Intel at the time, and he 
perform all the measurements, and he accommodated the component as well. And at the, uh, at the end of the day, he just created a trajectory that was linear for cleaning the component. So I'll present you also a video, parallel. I, I removed the environment so you can see better. So that's the real application. So you see, it's probably a large robot, half a ton of payload, you can still control it with ROS. That's, a, that's an amazing tool. We're just spraying particles, uh, inserting kinematic uh, in every particle. So once it reaches uh, the component, it cleans, it cleans the surface evenly without damaging it. So these are the kind of applications that ROS I is good at. So now you don't have to think only about creating small toys. You can use a big machines safely and accurately to perform whatever task you need to do. Without knowing, for example, rapid, this is one advantage. Send you now the polishing. Uh, this is a polishing for aerospace components. Yep. We're doing debarring in the company. And a lot of people struggle to program this robot. And I don't blame them. It's very hard. Uh, we all know little of Carol programming. But we took Ross to do this, and it turned out to be really easy. Uh, what we do here is a polishing of um, aerospace component. I kind of showed you the aerospace component. I'm just showing you a dummy uh, component. but. Uh, what we do is just basically define the trajectory and then perform a motion, a not linear motion at the moment, but it's just uh, doing a trajectory <coughs> definition using moving. Uh, we also do a collision avoidance. We define the, the whole cell, and then Arby's, inside Arby's, we can see the, the trajectory planning <coughs> without any collision. And we do this multiple times for all the components. Okay, so wrapping up, I just, uh, I try to be uh, honest here, there is no perfect software solution. That means ROS is not the only option that you're gonna have, but it's a very good option. It's a very uh, important option for you to use in case you have problems, in case you have uh, difficulty to use any other kind of software. It's, uh, it's a solution for you. Uh, there are different uh, features that are missing, like definition of the speed, for example, controlling the definition from one point and then changing that to the other one. Although you can do it, you can develop it, but at the moment you kind of, you kind of make a similar state with uh, ABD programming, for example. Then you're gonna have to have a C++ or Python knowledge, but I guess everyone is smart here, so it's okay. Then, just, just to finalize, just, uh, <coughs> The real, the real opportunity here is that the interoperability between the users and the multiple robots is increasing. And now you just have the option of learning ROS. You can do any robot. That's it. That's simple. So it's an opportunity for you. Uh, thank you so much for listening to me.
And just remember to come to our event next week. See Professor Is there any question? Yeah. Uh, how, does, how do you connect the ROS to the uh, robotic computer? Is there a bridging software or how do you actually... Uh, no, because, okay, you have just to connect the TCP and then define the IP address of your robot. And then you just uh, bring up, I, I think you saw on the ROS, ROS launch, name of the package, bring up, then the I, robot IP address, and then simulation folks. And then he will come up to a spot. And then so you have you have access to the joint states of the robot, for example. So that, that's only for robots that support or have a... So uh, you need to have a driver, intermediate driver yeah. for that yeah. robot. So in the case of yeah. Final, you need to install two additional items. Or in the case of ABB, you need to have PC interface, for example. Uh, these are the current, um, as I mentioned before, these are the current officially supported. So you can find, for example, packages for KUKA, which are not totally supported, but you can still use. You might find bugs, but still. So there is no one there, there's actually no uh, availability right now for, for this kind of... Uh, Function. Sorry? It, it, there's some notes on the, on the list. Yeah. So there's um, no means that the manufacturer does not provide that kind of. Uh, but for example, in the case of Phantom, you have position streaming, right? right? But that's because of the ability of the controller, right? Not, not because we don't want to develop it. And then, this is a small advantage, but you can see the, the real time going sticks. Then, in the, in the case of the UR10, let's say you don't have it then you have more options. At the end of the day, all of them can do the task. That's what matters. So these are little details, but can be developed with the collaboration of the whole That's the end of the And to add up, I think uh, I've seen some of the packages out there. So, like for example, some of the not supported ARMs. Um, usually they do a wrapper uh, based on the APIs or existing APIs of the ARM, and then they just convert it into a ROS package, mm. which is something that ROS can understand. So the unofficial wrappers are from third party maybe programmers. <laughs> but uh, the only thing is that maybe you don't have a full support from the vendor. Okay. Yeah. And in some cases you're not allowed to use the visual definition of the program because of legal aspects. Is there a recommended recommended place that you can find this kind of uh, He's the best person for the industry. <laughs> yeah. So one place or is it actually distributed over different cases that you can find for the particular robot, let's say? No, no, you just go to the Rossi website Rossi. and they provide even a tutorial on how to start developing. Okay. So you can download, you develop in tools, then you go, download the tool, the Rossi package, depending on the Ross version that you have, yeah. the kinetic, and you download that specific package, the meta package of the Rosa, and then you're ready to go. But only for the official ones. And then you can also go uh, inside the Rosa and then find for Fuka, for example. Okay. Then you can continue playing. You can explore all these activities offline. You don't need a robot as well. Okay. Any more questions? Okay. Thank you very much for the space and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.